I'm Jeremy Barnish. I'm here talking to Scintilla today. So uh, maybe introduce yourself and tell me what you're working on. Sure, I'm Joe Blastry. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Scintilla. And what we're working on is tables. Is tables. Uh, uh, is running Java on some of the world's smallest computers. So what we can do is actually we have a whole computer inside this little tiny thing. Um, and we can hook it up to all kinds of real world sensors, actuators, and basically monitor the, the world around us, get data that we've never seen before. And so for example, right here I can show you, you know, I just I have a, a little accelerometer in here and I can now see the level of this. Right? Or for example, I can attach it to my hip and I have a wireless pedometer. So all these things I can power through these really tiny computers. So let me ask you this question, why would I want a wireless accelerometer attached to my hip? Well, think about, you know, it can count how many steps you've taken, right, which is good, so you're healthy and you make sure you have your daily dose of steps. But imagine instead we put that inside of a container and we know, hey, maybe those flat panel monitors have been dropped or broken on their way being shipped uh, you know, to the warehouse. So we can actually apply it to business applications as well as a lot of fun things that you can do personally, like count how many steps you have. So the biggest applications for this are like, uh, manufacturing, transportation, um, what kind of typical sort of corporate rack? You're, you're exactly right. So logistics, you know, transportation. Uh, manufacturing, being able to know how the machinery in my uh, industrial facility is working. Uh, security, being able to protect our borders, airports, um, things like that, knowing when there's intruders. Um, all the way down to toys and entertainment, where we can have Tamagotchis that talk to each other and tell you that, hey, I'm sad or I'm crying, and yours starts crying too. So, uh, wide range of uses. Have you been getting a lot of interest in your Java 1? Oh, absolutely. Java 1's been incredible. It's allowed us to show everybody this new, this real new class of computing and what Java developers can do with it that they've never been able to access before. There's, there's something around 10 billion of these microcontrollers shipped every year. None of them currently run Java before and it fix and change that. What sort of things have happened at the show? I think you were in one of the, were you mentioned in the keynote? Yeah, we were mentioned the first day by John Gage and, and James Gosling. And what we're doing is we're actually monitoring all of the doors around the Moscone Center so we know when people go in or out of technical sessions or general sessions so we can see how popular they are. So you're managing the doors on the session? Well. We are. We're doing that wirelessly with these computers and now we can rank them and we know what's popular and what's not. So any sort of sneak preview on what's the hottest technical session? Uh, well, I'm told by uh, Chris, the chief gaming officer at Sun, that his sessions are, and all the entertainment ones are the most popular, so we're working on that for them. I'll bet every product marketing person in Sun tells you their session is the most, exactly. you're going to have the actual fact. I'll have the real factual data, and not only that, I can see what are the environmental conditions in there, did people leave because it was too hot or the air conditioning didn't turn on. So we have all kinds of great data about what's going on in Job 1, the behavior of people that we've just never had. That's great. That's really interesting. So, Again, my name is Jeremy Barnish and this is something. Uh, we're here with Scintilla at the Java One Show and uh, I hope you enjoy this little segment. Thank you.